headquartered uh, in US, California. And in Prototype to industrial stage. In, in that regard also we are At Meta Energy we are doing a lot of innovative technological सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल तो आज हम आए हैं प्रगति मैदान दिल्ली में तो यहाँ पर आई ई एस डब्ल्यू इंडिया एनर्जी स्टोरेज वीक 2022 एक्सपो स्टार्ट हो चुका है तो इस वीडियो में मैं आपको इस इवेंट का पूरा टूर दूंगा तो इस वीडियो को एंड तक देखना और साथ ही चैनल को सब्सक्राइब जरूर करना अगर आप बिजनेस करने की सोच रहे हैं या ऑलरेडी कोई बिजनेस कर रहे हैं तो इस जगह पर जरूर विजिट करना इट इज इंडिया प्रीमियर बी टू बी नेटवर्किंग और बिजनेस इवेंट फोकस्ड ऑन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी एडवांस बैटरीज अल्टरनेट एनर्जी स्टोरेज सोल्यूशन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल चार्जिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड माइक्रो क्रिट इको सिस्टम तो ये इवेंट तीन मई से चार मई तक प्रगति मैदान में होगा और यहाँ की टाइमिंग मॉर्निंग टेन ए एम टू इवनिंग सिक्स पी एम होगी पार्किंग की बात करें तो पार्किंग भी यहाँ पर अवेलेबल है और साथ ही आपको पार्किंग से शटल सर्विस मिल जाएगी जो कि आपको डायरेक्ट एग्जीबिशन तक ले जाएगी और यहाँ की एंट्री के लिए आपको प्रगति मैदान गेट नंबर वन से अंदर आना होगा So this pack we are staying. This is five kilowatt hour pack, which is basically used for fixed solution for e-rickshaw. This gives a kilometer of in a single charge, 95 to 105 kilometers. Then we have these modular packs, which are basically for the shopping purpose. So these are the solution for shopping purposes. ये आपको आइडियली दो बैटरीज एक रिक्शा में लगती हैं और आप 60 से 70 किलोमीटर इसको चला सकते हैं इसके अलावा वी मैन्युफैक्चर बैटरी रेंजिंग फ्रॉम 2 किलोवाट टू फोर्टी किलोवाट आर आवर बैटरी कम्स विथ थर्मल मैनेजमेंट एंड वाइब्रेशन मैनेजमेंट जो कि दो मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स हैं इंडिया में जिसकी वजह से बैटरीज में फायर या अनप्रेजिडेंटेड इंसिडेंट्स होते हैं थैंक यू Uh, we are from uh, Phoenix Contact and uh, operating in this uh, energy storage segment for at stall number 49. And basically, Phoenix is almost 100 year old organization. And in India, we are operating from last 25 years. And we are into the electrical automation. And on the same time, we are into the EV segment also. We are providing the component for the complete EV market. In any case, the customer wants to develop its own AC as well as DC charger. We can support with the customer on all applications for the development of. as well as dc chargers on the same time we are also into the electrical automation we have a manufacturing unit in india at palwal location where we are providing or manufacturing some kind of electrical automation components like terminal block search protection devices and all this that the automation of product and we are also in the field of railways automation wind solar all that all the fields we are covering as per the market demand so this was a brief intro from our side for the phoenix for we are, are doing in a field of automation and e mobility uh this is in our uh, product portfolio for the ev charging infrastructure we have we provide all the kinds of component that are being required for the ev market or the development of ac as well as dc charger so right is starting from terminal blocks charge protection devices ac dc charging cables power supply power module hmi touch screen more over i can say 70 to 80% in house component we have for the manufacturing of ac as well as dc charger <laughs> सारा आपका इलेक्ट्रिक बस है सारा अपना बैटरी बैग नीचे बेसमेंट में लगा रहता है और ये स्वैप वाला नहीं है तो आप इसको चार्ज कर सकते हो जीरो इमिशन है कोई भी इमिशन नहीं है इससे कोई भी आपका पोल्यूशन नहीं होगा आप देखो जैसे वहाँ पे लिखा हुआ हंड्रेड परसेंट इलेक्ट्रिक जीरो इसमें तो पूरी हंड्रेड परसेंट ग्रीन है हंड्रेड परसेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट ग्रीन है दिल्ली ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉरपोरेशन का ये अभी जो 
दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट का स्विच रैली है तो इनका एक वो चल रहा है कॉन्सेप्ट कि जितने भी टायर वो बसें हैं लो फ्लोर वाली सबको वो फिर धीरे धीरे चेंज करके इलेक्ट्रिक पे लेके आएंगे ओके आईसेल गजानन आई एम फ्रॉम पीन ग्रीन पुणे एक्चुअली वी हैव बूथ नंबर फाइव हियर बेसिकली वी आर ई बस एंड लिथियम एंड बैटरी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी वी हैव टू कंपनीज इन पुणे दैट स्ट्रेट्रॉन इंटरनेशनल प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एंड वन इज ट्वीन ग्रीन टेक प्राइवेट लिमिटेड आवर पेरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज स्ट्रॉन ई विच इज डूइंग ऑल दिस with all these types of electric buses all the solution that we have uh but tony talking about tony uh, that we have a global presence uh, including thailand uh, indonesia malaysia some of the parts of japan and in southeast asia we are now uh, in queue all these things so from uh, one and a half year i could say uh, we are in india uh, so doing all these steps so whatever the technology that we have technological solutions specializations that we have that we provide globally so that we are intended to bring all these solutions in india like these kinds of buses 7 meter 9 meter 12 meter and at the same time uh, i i said another company this is a tetron so what we have solution that's battery pack and energy storage systems so we are in queue that we are bringing that's all this sim and in india hi i am mukesh uh, i represent uh, amp uh, we are a us headquartered company focused on energy management uh, solutions we are here at booth number 4 showcasing our battery management solutions uh, with our latest uh, e cloud offerings uh, where we are doing lot of battery analytics so uh, as you can see the headlines our focus is more about uh, safety when it comes to battery so the battery management systems that we develop they are safety uh, compliant we follow iso 26262 uh, guidelines and uh, the the way our engineers design the product from a hardware software perspective they take care of uh, doing lot of uh, des- following lot of design principles which put emphasis on safety and performance and uh, we work very closely with our customers uh, try to gather as much data as possible during the development phase and feedback that into our development so that we have a product which is basically a very reliable product for our customers onto the field uh, we support uh, multiple customers multiple applications globally uh, we are a team of about uh, 150 engineers headquartered uh, in us california and in bangalore india uh, we have customers in uh, europe us and india uh, in india we are focusing more on micro mobility applications supporting uh, uh, two wheeler e cycle applications and globally we work uh, a lot on the overall energy management ecosystem we have innovative solutions uh, which help customers reduce uh, the time to market overall system cost and then of course we enhance the performance uh, using our technology so do visit us uh, on our website www.automotivepower.com to know more about us thank you my name is piyush kumar vashish and the company is sempo infratech so basically we provide uh, complete assembly line for lithium ion uh, cylindrical and prismatic battery pack manufacturing like cell grading machine and then we have the cell sorting machine welding machines and bms system and bcd tester so all these machines uh, are used in the assembly line for lithium ion and battery pack manufacturing so our key customers are okaya coslight we have given machines to all major customers across india Hi this is Arvind Limje I'm heading sales for Meta Energy at Meta Energy we are doing lot of innovative technological things we are developing a battery pack solutions for industrial and uh, mobility applications here you can see that we are having a solution as a demo we have showcased for uh, industrial ESS rack solution 51 kilowatt hour likewise we are having couple of solution for industrial UPS telecom and these solutions are really very exciting in terms of technology deliverables life cycle quality do visit us at isa event on 3rd and 4th of may thank you hi guys my name is pankaj i am one of the co-founders at log9 materials we are here at the isa event in delhi and what we have brought for everyone today is uh, the products and the technology that we have been working together 
what we have, uh, what we're building at Logline is uh, a completely grounds up technology uh, from cell to pack to battery level. And our focus is to bring technologies for India, made in India, for a tropical climate condition that we have in India. There's a lot of conversation that is going on in terms of what kind of electric vehicles are going to be suitable for a country like India. How do you make them safe? How do you make them dependable? How do you take a uh, take a two-wheeler or a three-wheeler for a business and uh, give it the dependability of operations? How do you make a three-wheeler that can do an 18-hour delivery? Uh, or how do you create a two-wheeler that uh, uh, any of the food delivery partners can use as their main purpose vehicle for delivery? So if you can, as you can see, you know, we have behind me, I have this uh, H plus rapid EV that we have built. Uh, this is completely built in India for India. This is carrying a 6 kilowatt hour battery pack. And because for these particular battery packs we have 15,000 cycles, what it means is that you can run this vehicle for 10 years. If the vehicle can stand, it can last for 10 years, the battery will support for that 10 year operation. Uh, this is India's fastest. This is India's fastest charging three-wheeler. Uh, the entire vehicle gets charged within 50, uh, 35 minutes. And uh, this particular vehicle is carrying the opportunity that after five years of usage, if you bring it back to us within the first five years, we will give you one lakh buyback. So a lot of three-wheeler partners are actually buying this vehicle for the India delivery side. We also have a lot of two-wheelers which are happening in India. What we do is for Imagine a scooter like this, typically it takes uh, <laughs> a good one to one and a half hours to get charged. But what we are able to do is charge this vehicle within 15 minutes. So you have a scooter that can go zero to full charge within 15, one five minutes. And once that happens, then you unlock because now the range is not a problem. Every time you stop, you have a cup of tea, you can get enough juice into the into the battery and you know, take, it, take it to the next level. So that is what has revolutionized this. Uh, everything is, you know, chargeable at a public charging infrastructure. Uh, and then we have a couple of other things that we've been building. I'll show you around. What we're doing demo here is this is a zap-up uh, technology. This is for stationary battery packs. Whenever, whenever there is a solar or a wind uh, farm. A lot of that energy is not able to go back to the grid because you don't have power conditioning, you don't have battery packs that can last the lifetime of that particular uh, particular program. What we've done through zap -up is to create a technology that can absorb all that energy. So you may have a solar or a wind uh, and you store the energy into a battery pack like this and then plug it back to the grid. So all the energy is available at the time you want it. So if you need energy in the night, this can do it in the night pretty well. Um, what we're doing demo here is we have hooked up entire zap up. We have a solar panel outside. This entire uh, the entire lighting and the entire power of this particular system is running on a solar panel. So what that does is, uh, this is the probably is going to be a first home uh, home power solution because a lot of UPSs don't have the necessary energy to start up, let's say, an air conditioner at a home. But this kind of zap up which can charge, discharge at a very high C rate, can give you that kind of energy that you need to switch on, let's say, an air conditioner. So this is very, very useful for home. Uh, we are partnering with multiple players. Uh, and last but not the least, uh, but one of the things that we've been doing here is, uh, at Log9, we have opened up uh, and created uh, India's first lithium ion commercial cell technology, which is for the tropical climatic belt. Uh, we call the brand name the TIB. These are the first Indian made cell uh, that we're making in Bangalore. And these cells are actually made for our own internal consumption. Once you have the TIB kind of cell technology in India, what, I, what starts to happen is that you reach to self alliance, you reach to self reliance in, uh, in your dependency from any foreign country. Right now, in India, we don't make lithium ion cells and hence a lot of our businesses are running through an import of the cell. So with once, you know, our TIB cell sized, you know, the Indian players will have an opportunity to get battery packs that are containing cells made in India for India. And that gives you the control from cell to pack to the technology level. Thank you. So India
Mega Energy Storage Alliance (ISA) started in 2013 with five members. Now we have grown to 160 plus members. This is started to create India not only a market for the application or a deployment. We started for both to make it as a hub for the R&D, manufacturing, new technology development in the space of energy storage, electric mobility, green hydrogen. In the process of journey, we have also helped few state governments, central governments, including Niti Aayog, MOP, MNRE, PIA, some standards formation, and also helped the many industry companies like startups to commercialize their product from the prototype to industrial stage. In, in that regard, also we are not working isolatively in India. We are closely working with other alliances from other countries, from China, so National Energy Storage Alliance, and SEPA from USA, is from Europe, Canada and Energy Storage Alliance, and other countries. So we went that there should be a technology transfer between the countries. There should be collaboration between the international companies. Then only India can grow. As a success story, we help government to bring you the PLI store, PLI scheme. And now ETD 51 is working on the standards. On the electrical stainless steel standard, and now we see India will create a market, maybe around 100 uh, billion dollar market in next 10 years in the energy storage space. It will create 1 million job opportunity. So that's a huge opportunity. We encourage all startup company to enter this space. All large companies to diversify to the new energy technology space on the energy storage. So this exhibition, which is happening by ISA, the IIT annual exhibition and 10th anniversary of ISA is brought the 90% of the industry crowd to the single platform. After two years of COVID, everyone is meeting each other, exchanging their businesses, starting the new after lockdown or after COVID business scenarios. So it will be a milestone event in the industry. Thank you.